when I was like eight years old, my dad, he got me FL Studio. My dad used to go on car rides and was just listen to instrumentals. Growing up, I always sat in my room trying to make beats. The name speaks for itself, set the bar. We just want to try to do shit different. It just started as an idea, honestly. It's just a family of people who make music. We all do our own thing, but we all make sure we're all good. It's really just supporting each other and making each other feel comfortable making music because we might have our own doubts in our mind that we need to just let go of. But if no one's there to tell you to let go of it, you wouldn't know. The name itself set the bar. I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. You know, that's that's my thing. The name was just something that we thought of in the moment that like really connected to what we wanted to do. Everybody has their own authentic sound. Everybody's different. It doesn't sound like anybody else's music in, in Beaver County, period. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I'm knowing what it is, but I'm still happy that I met you. This shit pressure, pressure. Don't even gotta text you when I think you, you call me. This connection more than special. This shit pressure. We all just take what we already doing and just make that shit 10 times better. We can freestyle with it and it just sounds smooth because we all flowing off each other. <laughs> I don't know. We just got a whole little vibe collectively. Turn me up, Mark. When you've done it alone for a long time, you get tired of like, yo, I need a break. Yeah. But whenever you have somebody like support, even if it's one mm -hmm. person, it still helps. Because the weight isn't all on you. Exactly. Like, that definitely helped with me joining the group. So I've been doing music my whole life. And when I joined the group, started doing songs with other people and just opened up Collab more or like, I say different genres and stuff. I tried different beats. Then that made my fan base want to grow more because they're like, oh, I didn't know he could do this too. Paranoid, then I had got fried. Thought it was a dream to see the clip and watch Lil Bro cry. Freaky's out that slammer. I still talk to him like every day. Hurt me to my heart when you got booked and knew you had to stay. Wish you wouldn't have did the shit you did because now you got to pay. Still think about that day when Woody died. My mom stuck on replay. Anything is possible. I wasn't really social uh, when I first moved around here. You know, I'm not with the big groups and stuff like that. So I wanted to show people that like, you know, person y'all underestimate or someone y'all don't really see is really like doing something in the community. Okay, but let's keep it real. I'm just trying to make a meal, stay up all the field. I ain't trying to get me killed, get me popping pills. The way I'm feeling got me ill, cause I think it's still. One mom revenge, I had a dream. It's really not even about the music because like, even if we're not working on music, I feel like we're still together. And like, I, that's the most important part. Seeing other people's work also inspired me like, wow, like that's beautiful. You took the time out of your day to do that. Regardless if it's a song, you put your emotions in it. You did this with passion, especially if you took your time with it. Even if you didn't, like you just did something really quick. That was your mind working it out. I could be lazy on my music right now and I know there's other people in the group that are either working on their music currently or going through the same thing and I can talk to them about it, you yeah, know? that's what gives me a yeah. lot of inspiration too. <laughs>